Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Bobcat 265 air pack and the new Trailblazer 330 air pack. So in this video today, we're going to do a little comparison between which one, you know, what each one would do and when you would need to buy one or the other unit. Um, so I'll just run through the features, I'll talk about what the differences are, and uh, kind of help you guys choose which machine would be perfect for you. So just recently, the 265 came out. And it is going to replace the Bobcat 200 air pack, which is currently out. Um, it's still out. They still make it. But this is going to replace it. It's uh, gas only. Uh, no diesel option like the 200. Um, but it's a very nice machine. Obviously, you can see it comes with the new screen here. And the Trailblazer has the new screen as well. So that's new to this feature. 11-gallon uh, fuel tank on this. Um, and as you notice, there is no big bulge like the 200 has for the air cleaner and the air filter out back. Um, that's gone, same thing with the 330, the old 302 Trailblazer, had that big air cleaner up top, that's gone, did away with that and made it nice streamlined flush. So they're 184 pounds lighter than the previous editions. Um, they are shorter than the previous editions, um, not narrower, but shorter. Um, so both of them are competing in a market, so you have the 200, the 265, and the 330. So when you, if you're looking at a 200, you know, this is replacing that. So if you jump up to 265, this one has 11,000 watts peak, 9,500 watt, 9,000 continuous, and this one has 12,000 peak, 10,5 continuous. So um, different gen wattages on generator output. Both of them, though, do have two 240 plugs and two 120 plugs. So you can see that on the front. And we have our lead plugs there for each one. This one I just put quick connects on there just to show that. Um, both of them have battery assist jump start. So that, that's they're competing in the same route. There. Now, I will tell you this. So where, when you need, you know, this is 265 amps, this is 330 amps. Will they both carbon arc cut? Yes. Will this do a large carbon arc rod? Absolutely not. So you got to be careful. If you're going to carbon arc with this machine, you got to be aware that this is only going to be small diameter carbon arc gouge rod, and then this is going to be your, your big boy, it's going to take a larger diameter cutting rod. So, if you're in that and you're kind of tossed up, this is 25% more than the 265. So, weigh your options there and, and your price where you want to be, um, but you are getting a lot more options with the 330, I will tell you that. So, uh, 265, this is just bare bone, one model in this. Um, but it does come standard with all these, jump start, uh, the screen, USB update, auto set has auto set. But if you want to upgrade for 25% more, you can get, possibly in another option, you can get remote start. We do have auto set here, but we also have dynamic dig. We have pulse TIG, and we can adjust our inductance on our wire feeder, and we have arc reach on the 330, where the 265 does not. So if you already have an arc reach feeder, and you want to run your feeder with arc reach technology, you've got to have the 330, because all of them, the 330s come standard with arc reach on them. So you got to have that. Obviously, we've got a 14 pin. This has a 14 pin. Oh, this does not have a 14 pin. I apologize, but it does have a direct connect for the spool gun. So does this. But this has a 14 pin, so if you have um, a remote that you want to plug in or, uh, you know, for your wireless foot pedal or wireless TIG finger control, it'll run that. Or just a jump start or amperage remote, that sort of thing, that'll run that. Um, so that is a nice upgrade to this. Uh, same air output, though, so 30 cubic feet per minute. Uh, so it's a rotary screw compressor, and it's got four ports out the back. And you come off there with a half inch NPT. So we got this one hooked up with an air hose. We're going to run some uh, half inch impacts with it. See how it turns those over. But all in all, there, I mean, they're the same footprint, 11 gallon gas tanks, basically the same package. It's just what options do you need out there in the field? Um, but like I said, you still get 30 cubic feet a minute with this unit. You got 265 amps output. So welding wise, you should be covered, no problem. It's just when you get into carbon arc. Uh, that sort of thing, you almost need to jump up to the 330, or if you're doing a lot of welding, but they're all 100% duty cycle, right? So they're, they're, you're not losing, but you're just getting more amperage out of the 330 than you are in the 265. Now, is this, some people say, 
does the 265 hurt the performance of the air compressor? It does not. Um, nor does it do it on the 330. So you're going, your output on the air compressor is going to be the same no matter what. Um, but I like that, I mean, I'm, I'm a big person about all the bells and whistles. I love the Trailblazer 330 with all the perks, the remote start, that's awesome, and everything that it comes with. But if you're just looking for something simple with air, and it works, and it runs, and it runs on gas, and it's great, I'd go with the 265 because you're, you're not losing any capability. You just now you're just upgrading to something with a lot more bells and whistles. And one more thing about the bells and whistles: this thing has about four models that you can choose from. We'll link all those down below. So there's different models with different price ranges and what they come with. Um, but I am doing a whole video on the 265 and a whole video on the 330, and I'm going to run the 330. So please, we're going to link them down below. Watch those too. And if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.